Hey, what's up guys, Marco here. Today we're going to be breaking down Travis Cuts, I know. Hope you enjoy the video. I Know is the 10th track on Travis Scott's latest and 4th studio album, Utopia. Leaving aside the video, I managed to set some of my mic settings so you guys can hear me more clearly, and I've also given up on the substantial amount of formal and on-point speaking. Like, I look at some of my older videos and I feel like I'm watching a robot speak of a script, so I'll try to speak more naturally with you guys. So, with that being said, let's move on to the breakdown itself. As always, before starting, here are all the producers who worked on this track. So, first things first, we're gonna decrease the BPM of the track from 130 to 118 beats per minute. After this, we're gonna start with the main piano. For this piano, I've learned two different presets. The first one being the Time Flies preset in Addictive Keys, and the second one, EP Pad Sweep in Triton Extreme. And now, after drawing the pattern in, we're gonna send the two presets to the mixer, and we're gonna add this Power Magic EQ2 to create a subtle muffle effect. Now, we're gonna add the background piano. Here I've gone with the Black Forest preset in Analog Lab 5, to which I added the Nozon Imager 2 to switch the preset from stereo to mono. A power metric EQ2 to get rid of a lot of unwanted frequencies and some fruity flanger. Now moving on, if you listen closely to the original song, you'll hear a perk like sound effect playing on each beat. Something like a clock ticking or something like that. So yeah, now we're gonna replicate the sound effect. First, I picked the most similar sounding perk that I could find, in this case, this lace perk, and I created this pattern, played at A4 with a random velocity change, after which I exported the clip as audio and I sent it to the mixer, where I've added the parametric EQ2 and some Valhalla room. Now we're gonna right click on this little arrow right here and we're gonna select automate and then volume. Here we're gonna create some bumps here and there to make the volume more uneven, after which we're gonna create another automation clip, this time for the panning. And here we've created this automation clip going from left to right for every bar. So here's how it sounds in context. Now moving on, we're gonna add this siren sound effect. Following up, we're gonna add this Vox sound effect. Now, here I had no idea how to recreate this Vox sound effect, so I straight up copied Aiden's method. Gotta give the man props, he's a genius when it comes to breaking down songs. But for this effect, I didn't only copy Aiden's method, I still added my own touch to it to make it as accurate as possible. So, first of all, here's the original Vox sound effect. Now, we're gonna head over to the envelope settings and we're gonna turn down everything except the attack and the release, which are both going to be up by 35%, and the sustain, which is going to be up by 100%. Next, we're gonna right click on the snap to grid icon and we're gonna select 1 fourth of a bit. And now we're gonna join this pattern, after which we're gonna open up the randomizer tool and we're gonna turn all the way up the panning knob and we're gonna hit bipolar. Moving on, we're gonna add some fruity compressor, Valhalla room and OTT to make the sound even more accurate. And now we're gonna head over to the Vox effect again and we're gonna create an automation clip for the start offset knob. Following up, we're gonna add an automation clip for the reverb and another one for the volume. So in the end, in context, it sounds like this. Okay, moving on to the song itself. First, we're gonna start with the second piano. Same preset as before, different pattern. Now, moving on, we're gonna move on to the really complicated drums and percussion loop. First, we're gonna start with the hi-hat, where we have this identical preset. Next, we have the snare, again with an identical preset. Following up, we're gonna add the open hat. Moving on, we're gonna add the layer hi-hat, the preset being the hit one hi-hat. Next off, we have a perk which mimics the previous hi-hat pattern. Following up, we have the second perk. Moving on, we're gonna add the third perk. Keeping the line moving, we're gonna add a zap or shaker, sound like preset. 
next off we have a cowbell where we have this common preset. And now, finally, after all the previous drums and percussion presets, we have the kick. Here we have the identical kick. We can figure this out by turning the channel pitch up by 80 cents, and by comparing the waveforms, we can clearly tell it's the identical preset. So now we have only one more thing to add, the 808. Here we've gone with the classic spins 808 and in the envelope settings we've turned everything down except the sustain. And in the mixer we've added the fruity wave shaper to make the 808 sound more distorted. Here we have two different patterns. For the second piano we have this pattern. For the initial piano we have this one. And somewhere along the line, we're going to need this third preset. So now the breakdown is ready. So, without no further ado, here's the final result. Well, I can certainly tell that this was one of the best songs of of Utopia, hence it stands out in streams and popularity, and it's just a great song overall if you ask me. So with that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe, and if you want to see more of these breakdowns, stay tuned, cause there are more of them on the way. Until then, see you next time.